Hey, what's up, Capricorn? Welcome to my channel. Happy happy birthday, by the way. Shit, I celebrated my birthday yesterday. I had a great birthday. It was a little challenges, but yeah, it was good though. Um, so hopefully y'all been doing well out there. Hmm, so we're gonna get this purple deck to see what your overall energy is. I was gonna tell y'all some messages actually. Let's see. So let's see your channel messages i have are don't worry so it's a lot going on right now with you know i know mercury was in capricorn just a minute ago um i think it's out of capricorn right now but venus is about to go into capricorn tomorrow december 29th so my actually my venus sign is capricorn so this whole time right now is affecting me right now and also mercury retrograde starts tomorrow <laughs> so anyway it's just a lot going on right now but hopefully y'all are doing well out there hopefully y'all had a good holiday season hopefully y'all are getting ready for the new year getting y'all's manifestations and stuff ready or y'all's whatever wrapping everything up also if there's been some conflicts with any people or whatever or confusion i think i don't know i just feel like all that's gonna be cleared out or cleared up or something like that i don't know those messages may resonate <laughs> all right so we're gonna see we're gonna get one of these cards to see what your overall energy is and then we're gonna get these black cards to see what you're currently dealing with and then i'll do a different type of reading since i'm a capricorn uh, i'm just gonna do an extensive reading today um, let's see let's, what's what's going on with capricorn all right the two of pentacles that came out in the, uh, in the up reversal though, but two of pentacles. So you could not be working on something or you could be like done with working on something or something is going on here with revolving your time. Maybe, wow, look at that. The judgment is underneath the deck. The knight of swords and the, the knight of cups and the lover's card. Wow. So um, this just talks about possibly working on a relationship with someone or possibly working on something with someone um that's another you have the two of cups next right after the eight of pentacles that's like two two you know so this is like somebody wanting to take a leap of faith with you or you wanting to take a leap of faith with someone possibly uh five of wands but this could cause it, it could be a lot of drama there or something like that I don't know, but the two of pentacles and the, and the judgment, this is like a decision has been made or something needs to be made up, Capricorn. Like you need to make your mind up or maybe you've made your mind up. Maybe that's why this came up in, in the inverse, you know? So maybe you're like done with something or like you're looking for something else or you're not working on something. Um, hmm. uh, let me show let me roll these days. 11. Hmm. What's that? Two? <laughs> wow, it's another two, basically. Uh, let's see. Let's what's going on with Capricorn currently right now? Um let's see what's going on currently with Capricorn. What's going on currently with Capricorn? Wow, the nine, the nine of pentacles came out. Oh, the nine of pentacles came out. Let's see. So I'm going to shuffle these again. But the nine of pentacles talks about being independent and self-reliant on yourself or doing things for more so for yourself and just like looking out for yourself. You know, this is like an entrepreneur card or just like a CEO, somebody that does something independently, that independently stands alone and they make money by themselves. So you could own a business, possibly Capricorn. Um, that's what I'm feeling like. Maybe you're trying to figure out how to um, spend more time in your business or something like that. Or um, I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> Eight of Wands wants to pop back. Something, something is being communicated. Some, you need. I don't know. You need to tell somebody some something. Five of Wands. This is the same energy. Um, Wow, the seven of wands came out. 
Yes, I feel like you're going to be defending yourself or fighting for yourself or somebody wants you to fight, may maybe, or maybe you're done fighting. I don't know. I'm just bouncing off of this energy right here, but let's just talk. Let's just worry about this energy. So this talks about fighting. This is like a competition and things like that. I, I did a reading earlier, a little bit off, off Capricorn's energy, and it definitely talked about competition and fighting and things like that. Or uh, So I feel like maybe somebody's in competition with you. Maybe somebody wants you to compete. Or something. Um, yeah, somebody, um, Nine of Cups came out. I just feel like somebody wants you to, somebody's trying to ruffle your feathers or something like that. Somebody wants you to get out of your emotions or make a move or have some sort of reaction. But I just feel like you're not reacting right now. Maybe, they, maybe they're doing it the wrong way. Maybe they're trying to, you know, maybe they're, uh, let's see what's underneath the deck. Yeah. Maybe what they're doing is causing you to leave, Capricorn. Maybe what they're doing is just not working or something like that. Maybe they need a new strategy. Come with no, Maybe if you came with no... Maybe if they came with no drama, maybe that would be better. Maybe if they was it was something genuine or something like that. Uh, or, or stop... I don't know. Let's see. What else, Capricorn? What else is here for Capricorn? Wow, the Ten of Cups is next. Yeah, I just feel like if they would if they would stop fighting with you, they would be happy or something like that. Uh, I feel like somebody wants to be happy with you or somebody is possibly uh, trying to mess with your happiness or something like that. King of Cups is there. This is, could be a Scorpio or Pisces Cancer energy here. Um... Let's see. The sun card. Wow, Leo energy. So this is just like, yeah, I just feel like somebody really wants to be happy with you, Capricorn. Maybe this is there. Somebody wants to wants to wants to work this. Wow, look at that. The fool card. Yeah, I just feel like <laughs> definitely somebody wants to take a leap of faith with you. Somebody wants to start over or something like that why wasn't the full card right here yeah the full card yes i just feel like somebody wants to to start over or something like that somebody wants to be happy they want to stop fighting with you they don't want they don't i mean clearly there's competition here but i just feel like you win though capricorn i just feel like you're going to be happy regardless as well but i just feel like maybe you're taking the leap of faith to step out on your own and just make yourself happy first or something like that um two of swords is next wow yeah so you definitely have a decision to make something like the we'll look at that the hermit card and then the emperor and then the eight of pentacles yeah just feel like something you have to make a, a choice about something right now something something about something is i feel like you need to take a risk i feel like you need to uh jump hey this is a uh, vodka redo i'm listening to the vodka redo is a uh, bounce rapper from new orleans um anyway let's see let's get we got three major arcanas so we're gonna like clarify those and see what those are about um so let's see let's get one for the judgment card All right, so you got the emperor came out for a judgment. See, I just feel like somebody is, uh, this is like, this is just giving me energy of you taking over your life or something like that, or like you're being the, this is because the emperor is like a general or like a, a leader of some sort, right, or whatever, but like a father figure possibly. So this could be like taking control over a, over your life or taking control or of your what 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 you allow in or something like that what you allow in your in your energy or some shit like that this could also be this is the end of someone trying to control you as well too um let's see what's underneath the deck you got the two of knives wow this it's a lot of twos here it's same energy man this is crazy uh let's see let's uh get one for the sun card Get 
Let me put this on card. Eight of knives, the eight of swords. So yeah, somebody doesn't know which way to go. Like, I feel like if you don't know which way to go, I feel like you should just make a move anyway. You know, like stagnation, that's not where we need to be at Capricorn. We need to like, stagnant energy is like the devil's playground. You know what I'm saying? So like, we just need to make a move, I feel like. This is definitely saying make a move, just say whatever you feel do whatever makes you happy. I just feel like you have a lot of, maybe you have a lot of options here or a lot of different ways you can go. I just feel like whatever, which way, maybe you should go, I don't know, maybe you should just do something. Don't just not do nothing. This is what this is telling me to tell you, Capricorn. Don't just do nothing. Three of coins. Yeah, you need to make a move, partner up with somebody or, or something like that or um, create something. This, this talks about creation. This also talks about being confused of, of where of where to go. So um, it just bounces back to the same energy that you just need to just do something, make something happen. Uh, let's see. Let's get one for the full card. All right, you got the <laughs> oh the tower, but it was in reverse, right? tower in reverse so i just feel like or the tower is here so this is scorpio energy right so this is just like saying like this is like a big shake up this is like a, a major transformation or a major shift so maybe that's what you need to do i feel like you need to give your all or just like this is like using all your talents or something like that or just using utilizing what you have to its full ability or something like that and creating some sort of powerful shift or something like that. So whether it's love, whether it's business or whatever it is, I just feel like you need to put all your all into it. Um, this could also be you, if it's in an up reverse, this is like you um, avoiding a situation. You know what I'm saying? Like you just going the totally opposite way. Um, just doing something brand new. This could, this could be like avoiding uh, a tower of yourself or something like that, so, like self-destruction type energy. So I'm really not too sure which one it was was in the reverse. Then the ten of sticks is is next, and then the seven of sticks. Yeah, I just feel like if it were in reverse, maybe you're avoiding uh, something that's really burdensome or something like that. But if it's in the upright, maybe it's like something is a lot of work. Something is a lot of work the seven of seven of sticks is there again this is the same energy that came out so it's just a lot of competition is here but i feel like something could be done it's just a lot of work um while looking at the daughter of coins which is like the um page of page of coins or some page of pentacles basically so this just talks about um getting out there and actually like t accepting offers accepting new things from people um, doing something totally different. Well, wow, look at that, the five of sticks. This is going to cause a lot of competition. So maybe you like your new celebration, your new beginning is going to cause, a, it's going to ruffle a lot of fe feathers. It's, this is what it looks like. No matter what you do, it seems like um, it's going to ruffle feathers. So and it's, it's no escaping um, this sort of energy is what I'm feeling like. <laughs> So I feel like you have the powers in your hands. I just feel like you can make make your own. Uh, just just whatever you put most of your energy into, that's what that's what you need to. Whatever your main focus is, whatever makes you happy, that's what you need to spend all your time doing. That's that's the route you need to go. Whatever confusion is there, or whatever you need to leave that alone. If something is too confusing, Capricorn, it ain't for you. Simple as that. If somebody's just fucking confused or just confuses you with the shit they say and just wants you to be confused, then that's not for you. I just feel like it shouldn't be a struggle. Like, why does it got to be a game all the fucking time? It's not a game. The game is, shit, I'm going to work on myself. So let's see. What, what's here that Capricorn doesn't see? What's here that Capricorn doesn't see?
All right, so the Knight of Cups wanted to come out. So it says creativity, romantic, charm, imagination, beauty, knight, and shining armor, following the heart and proposals. This says express your creat creativity with compassionate, loving emotions. Maybe that's what you need to do, Capricorn, is express your feelings, express your emotions. <laughs> That's hard to do because people be lying. Shit, people be lying. People be lying. For real. I don't have time for that shit. Okay. I mean, maybe you do. I mean... This is the um, Nine of Wands in reverse. This says, inner resources, struggle, overwhelmed, on the edge, defensive, paranoia, exhaustion, fatigue, lack of motivation. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Maybe you just feel unmotivated by a situation. I don't know. Maybe it's, it's too stressful or something like that. I just feel like you just want to be happy. Like, damn, you're going to do whatever it takes for you, you, you to be happy uh, or something like that. Like, while well, I look at that, the sun card came out again. Like I said, you're going to do whatever it takes for you to be happy, Capricorn. Yes. Positivity, pleasure, happiness, vitality, fun, joy, warmth, celebration, success, rebirth, all is well. Yeah, I just feel like, yeah, all is well, Capricorn. Like, just celebrate by yourself. Like, just worry about you and what makes you happy. That's The sun came up twice. Underneath the deck, you got the ten of pentacles. Wow, that's, you got two tens now. So this is just like... Um, the same energy is like wealth. Like, I just feel like maybe your health and your wealth or it's go hand in hand. And maybe like your family business or whatever you have, uh, whatever kind of business you have, I just feel like maybe that's what you just need to mainly focus on or whatever. So wealth, financial security, family, inheritance, long-term success, stability, con contribution, domestic, love, um, home, and attainment. It says... Everything has come to fruition in your life. You have experienced the wisdom of every stage. Yeah. You already know. You, you've you experienced all of this stuff. I just feel like, wow, look at that. The Nine of Swords in reverse. So in inner uh, turmoil, deep-seated fear, secrets, releasing worry, hope, and reaching out. So I just feel like you're releasing all of this stuff. You're releasing doubts of doubts of worry, whatever, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, three of three of pentacles is in reverse on top of the deck. This talks about disharmony, misalignment, working alone. Like I said, damn, working alone. Lack of teamwork, disorganized, and group conflict. So maybe you would do better, just like I said, working alone, just being by yourself, Capricorn. That's what this seems like. Like. Yeah, I, this is also saying except apologies or, you know, just um, people coming in, having some sort of sympathy, but just know it's just like whatever, it's just it's, it's temporary. Shit is, this motherfucker is on a, on a horse, okay? This shit is temporary, but it is, is, it is in a, um, an act of, of love, I guess, right? <laughs> I be trying to have love, shit. I, I do, I love, I do, I love my family, I love people around me, but I don't ever get the same love back, so, you know, shit, it just seemed like I don't love a motherfucker, so I just, I just leave it like that, you know? Shit, if you could make me feel like you don't love me, shit, I'ma make you know that, good, that's, that's how you feel, I'm not gonna show no love to you, none. I'm not even gonna acknowledge you. All right, so this is the alphabet deck. So we're going to see what they got to spell out. And then we'll, um, I don't know. I guess we'll do a love reading or something for Capricorn. All right, we have S for snake, Gemini energy. So you could be dealing with a Gemini. Shit. <laughs> we have R for rainbow, which talks about happy place. So somebody's a senior, or maybe a senior in high school, or somebody could be like a senior, you know, like uh, a father or something like that, or a sir. 
We have a G for goat, which is Capricorn energy. Look at that. S R G. I don't know what that. Uh, we have A for apples. It talks about fruitful things. And we have H for house. It talks about financial responsibilities and home life. I for inchworm it talks about slow motion, steady pace. And then we have F for fire truck, which talks about like fast results and like emergency. So we have fig. I don't know if anybody likes figs here. Ooh, I like fig newtons. They always be hard when I get them. So you got to get them hoes fresh somewhere. I don't know where they be having them fresh at, but you got to get them fresh or they just be hard and crumbly. So figs is here. We got Gia. We have he rigs. Oh, like big rig, like so somebody could drive trucks here. Yeah, somebody could drive trucks. We have rags. Rag from rags to riches. We have fish here. We have rash. Gash. G I A. G A. Georgia. We got. We got. Sh somebody might not want you to talk, Capricorn. Don't say nothing. Shit, don't be trying to shush me up. I'm gonna say ash. We got some ash. So something is done. Ashes? Yeah, it's like over. <laughs> All right, GH. Something can be right. Rights, something can have to do with your rights. Fag, <laughs> fags. <laughs> Did y'all hear that when I said fag? <laughs> fag, maybe this is some fag shit. I mean, I'm I'm gay, so I could say that, but I'll be mean, sorry about that if I am offended for my offended somebody. I forgot. I've been offended my whole life. So, you know, now that they come up with all these uh, cancellations and shit, you know, shit, I still got some shit to say. Cancel me uh, in the next lifetime, bitch, because shit, I've been motherfucking um, talked about my whole life. Shit, I got shit to say now. I mean, I always had shit to say, but you know. So let's see, let's end this message out. Capricorn, and then let's get a different one, okay? This says service. I feel good when I can help others. Purpose. It says, I know what I'm here to do. Yeah, I feel like whatever this is, Capricorn, I feel like you know what you're here to do. You know what works for you. You know what you can balance or whatever. You know what you can handle, right? So just focus on that, basically, is what this is saying. Like, focus on your services. Pro focus on perfecting your services. Envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Yeah. This just comes with the job, Capricorn. Just you, period. Everybody be envious of you. It's, you know, shit, whatever. Imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. Yeah. It says perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Yeah. That's so uh, Scapricorn. Yes. Just remember not to, don't worry. That's your message. Don't worry. Shit's going to be fine. Okay. Shit is fine already. Even if it don't seem like it is. Yeah. Um, it is. Don't worry. So let's go put these cards back. Let me. Put these back up really fast. 
and then um, I'm going to um, damn I want to make me a drink but it's okay it's all good I mean I've just been drinking wine today I've been so drunk over the holidays <laughs> drunk and hot oh and right now i'm on some shrooms oh my god my homegirl my sister's well it's not my homegirl my sister's homegirl from college gave me some shrooms let me show you what the shit i'm on it's called where that shit at? oh it's called um fun go hold on let me show y'all hold up Just give me one second. I just I have to shuffle these anyway, so I mean. Oh, I got some new cards I could use for y'all. Hey. So we're gonna do a love reading with these uh, the new cards I have. Um, um let's see. Alright, so these are the new cards right here. But this is the shit I'm on right here. It's called Fungo. This shit right here is dope, okay? And they're just like little capsules or whatever, but yeah. It says take one to three pills as a, a micro dose and four to six as a regular dose. Yeah, right. Shit. I'm on I'm on two right now. So I feel really good though. This is a different strand of um, shrooms than I'm usually on. I'm usually on the psilocybin mushrooms, but this is the um, fungi. Um, it's a different, different strand. It's, it's they're cool though. You know, all shrooms are cool. Shrooms make the shittiest person better. Let's see. Let's see what's going on with Capricorn for love. Give me some love messages. I have some love cards somewhere. Let's see. Give us some love messages for Capricorn. Oh, they said shuffle it one more time. All right. All right, let's get some love messages for Cappy. I be trying not to say Cappy. I just, I just Capricorn shit. Capricorn. Let me get some messages for Capricorn. The lover's card came out. Look at that. So you do may have some new love coming in. This also talks about Gemini energy. So maybe you're dealing with a Gemini here, or maybe you, there's just a new lover coming in. Possibly, let's see. Um, four of Pentacles, ah, uh, Five of Cups. I just feel like somebody wants to hold on to you. The Emperor and the Temperance card here. And the Ace of Swords. So this is just like, somebody knows the truth, somebody Wow, the Tower card, the Eight of Wands. I feel like somebody needs to talk to you. Somebody feels like uh, they have some sort of unspoken truth for you, or some 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 sort of not truth, or unspoken. Yeah, it's an unspoken truth, but it's an unspoken love for you, or something like that. I don't know what this shit is. The King of Wands. Yeah, somebody's highly sexually attracted to you, Capricorn. Four of Pentacles and the, the Lover's card. Somebody wants to hold on to this. Whatever y'all have, possibly. I don't know why I'm picking up past shit. I'm talking about... I need to be talking about future energy. So maybe somebody wants to hold on to you or something like that. I don't know, man. I mean... I'm supposed to be talking about new shit, right? So maybe it's a new love coming in that wants to hold on to you or something like that. Somebody that feels like you're, I don't know, somebody feels like they want to, I just feel like this person is selfish or something like that. They want to, like, hold you to themselves or something like that. You see how this 
whatever the fuck this is, a hippo is cuffing these these coins like that. That's just like they're like, nah, we I want to hold on to this. They want to hold on to something or something like that. Hmm. And there ain't no telling if this is future energy or present energy. So let's see what what else with this um, energy. I like these cards. They they're really thin, so they come out really easily, but. Yeah, these they were like six dollars. I was like, six dollars too? Are they cute? Let me get some of them. All right, let's see. Still love reading with these. Can I get my card? Wow, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, wait. Somebody is like stressed out here. Somebody's stressed out. Somebody maybe. I don't know. Somebody's worried about something. If somebody is, feels like they should have did something or said something or... Know, I'm just now noticing all these. Look at this. I'm just noticing all these zodiac signs on this... Uh, on on their, on their blanket. That's interesting. You got Libra. What's that? Sagittarius. What's that? What's that? Pisces. Anyway, the sun, you have the um, feminine energy here, the moon, Gemini. Hmm, I don't know. Something is going on here. Somebody feels stressed out about something or worried about something. Let's see, what else is here? This is my first time doing the, a reading with these, with these, uh, the king of wands and the, the five of pentacles. Yeah, somebody feels like you left or something like that. Or somebody feels out in the cold or something like that. Somebody that, wow, the King of Wands did come out in that deck, right? Wow, this is crazy. So this is just like somebody who, somebody just feels like they lost you possibly. Somebody feels like, yeah, somebody feels like they lost you. I'm just feeling like lost. Somebody wants to, um, wow, somebody wants to start over with you, Capricorn. The star card. This is Aquarius energy. This is like somebody wanting to like start start over. I'm just feeling like a renewal. Like, let's do something different. Three of Cups. Yeah. Two of Swords. And the Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Cups. Wait, wait, the four, wait, wait, let me take that back. Three of Cups, the Two of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Fool, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. And then the Ten of Swords in reverse, this supposed to be upright. I this supposed to be upright, but I just feel like somebody wants to come and celebrate with you. Somebody wants, definitely wants to be happy with you. Somebody wants to start over. Look at that, the Knight of Cups again. Somebody's going to definitely come in and apologize or talk to you or say something or Wow, look at that, the Ace of Wands. They want to start over with you. Somebody wants to start over with you, Capricorn. Some, somebody wants something brand new with you. Look at that, the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, I just feel like they want they want you to drill them. Like, don't leave me out type energy. Yeah, all right, Capricorn. Oh, you got two major arcanas. Let's let's clarify those, okay? I don't know. Let's get one for the lovers card. Why is the lovers card here? The ace of baskets. Yeah, I just feel like somebody wants to start over. Like somebody wants to like express their love to you or just like offer you some some, some something i don't know what this is they do want to offer you something maybe the eight of coins they want to work on something they want to work something out look at that the devil is next that's capricorn energy this is like i feel like somebody's a, addicted to you the four of knives all somebody do all day is think about you and, and jack off 
You hear what's playing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting back in my dick sick by the neighborhood Ho. Hold up. <laughs> Look at that. The higher phone is on top of the deck. Yeah, I just feel like somebody wants to like definitely offer you some sort of commitment or something like that. Or something. Um, but let's see. Let's get one for the star card. Why is the star card here? Nine of baskets. Oh, somebody, you're, somebody's wish fulfillment. Somebody wish for you. This is like getting everything you want. You have everything you want except something. Or maybe somebody has everything they want except you. Possibly. This is the type of energy I'm feeling. So, strength card. Wow, well, look at that. The hammer card. And then the nine of, nine of uh, knives. Which is the nine of swords again. So, yes, yeah, I feel like this is the same energy. Maybe this is... Maybe y'all are holding back from each other or something like that. The Son of Baskets is like the Page of Cups. Dang, this is the same energy. Four, four or six. So somebody definitely wants to come in and like apologize to you or something like that. Or like make something right. The Five of Coins again. The Three of Sticks. Yeah, I just feel like something. Maybe you're waiting on something else to come in. Or maybe you're holding back or something like that. You could be holding back Capricorn. I don't know what you're holding back, but you could be. Let's see. Let's get these sex cards out. <laughs> I haven't used these in a long time. Let's see. Who is this? Who 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 wants to mess around with Capricorn? I, well, I was trying to figure out what I was going to say. <laughs> Give me the sexual energy for Capricorn. Give me some, some messages for Capricorn. What else is here? This King of Wands keeps showing up. What does this King of Wands want? They want sex. Like somebody wants some sex from you, Capricorn. You gonna give it to him or not? Nah? Wow, the sign card came out. Yeah, I just feel like this is what they want to do to you. <laughs> Hopefully, y'all ain't no vampires. Hopefully, y'all ain't gonna burn up in the sunlight. I'm just, I'm just playing. This is like good energy somebody you make somebody feel good or you get both of y'all make each other feel good or some shit like that i don't know this is this is good energy the six of pentacles wow i feel like somebody has you maybe you you leave somebody wanting more or something like that i know this is energy is you somebody wanting more or somebody like Maybe you could be playing by yourself or some shit like that. Or just maybe you just sit around the house looking like this. <laughs> Somebody's dang, like, dang, like, dang, you need some, maybe you need some sex. Maybe this is how they're looking at you. You see how they coming in back there, like, and you just out chilling, like, sexy and stuff on the couch, eating apples and shit. <laughs> and somebody like, shit, damn, I'm, I'm here, here I come. Wow. The name of swords. Yeah, I definitely feel like somebody is coming in to, like, tame you or something like that. Or well, maybe they want to. The sun card came out. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody wants to, somebody definitely wants to tame you, Capricorn, okay? They want to have you just like this. <laughs> And then the six of chalices. Yeah, somebody from your past. This is definitely somebody from your past. That's another six. So this is possibly a Gemini or something like that. Maybe. Um, maybe your earth sign, possibly. I don't know. I'm just getting like six energy is Gemini. Four. Four of 
that's what's the same. Um, six of Wands is in the deck. You got six, six, six is here. So yeah, this is definitely like some good energy type shit. <laughs> you know, six, six, six is not all the devil. It's just, it's good energy too. <laughs> uh, the Ace of Pentacles is next. Wow. So I don't know, Capricorn. It looks like somebody from your past is not going to leave you alone or something like that. And maybe somebody, maybe it looks like this, some good sex here. <laughs> maybe y'all just need to have sex and it'll be okay. <laughs> I don't know, Capricorn, y'all shit. You know, you can never, you never know what a Capricorn. Capricorn's a little crazy. I've never really used these, these, this deck right here. So let's see. I ordered a lot of cards and I really just don't really like know how to just use them just yet or just like incorporate them in my readings just yet. But, um we're gonna we're gonna see. Let's see. Um let's see. What other messages are here for Capricorn? Wow, this just says Cupid's arrow. This says half faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting, hesitation. Wow, look at that shit, Capricorn. Like I said, damn. So maybe that's what's going on. <laughs> this look, the runner is in reverse. The runner is not running no more. Runner is a codependent relationship, fear of int intimacy, letting go of the ego. Maybe this person's not running no more. Wow, because this shit was in the reverse. And then on top of the deck, it says love. It says unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. This is definitely a love reading, Capricorn. Definitely. I like I like how the spirits of the ancestors be giving me messages like exactly what I what I want when I ask. Anyway, so I'm gonna do your financial thing later. Um I'm gonna go ahead and end this right there. And thank y'all for tuning in. Happy birthday!